my name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will show you how to simulate unipolar PWM in LTS Pies. So here I have a full bridge inverter, single phase inverter uh, and this uh, dotted line here uh, shows you the circuit or logic to implement the unipolar PWM technique. So to implement uh, unipolar PWM you need a carrier wave V triangle which is essentially a triangular wave here uh, this green plot shows that waveform so it's changing from minus 1 volt to uh, 1 volt and you need uh, two reference wave uh, uh, that is the sinusoidal wave uh, both should be 180 degree out of phase so i am i have named them as v sine and v sine minus so i have i'm using two comparator one comparator is comparing the carrier wave with uh, v sine and then another comparator is comparing the carrier wave uh, or p triangle with v sine minus so one comparator generates the pwm m1 and m2 which controls one leg of the inverter and another p comparator generates uh, pwm m4 and m m3 which controls the leg p of the inverter so logic here is very simple if you are not able to guess from this logic uh, so v sine if v sine is greater than you know v triangle switch m1 will turn on this switch will turn on so i have a pwm for m1 when v sine decreases below the magnitude of v triangle i have the pwm for m2 m2 now i cannot turn on m1 and m2 at the same time as it will cause a dead short circuit across my dc link voltage and my switches will get damaged therefore i used this circuit to implement dead time of 0.7 microsecond between turning on of this m1 and m2 so uh, you can i have given the formula to calculate the dead time you can uh, adjust it uh, as per your requirement similarly uh, when v sign now coming to the second comparator when v sign minus is greater than v triangle i am turning on the switch m3 and if v sign minus is less than v triangle i am turning on the switch m4 so this is uh, the logic here uh, in the bipolar pwm we needed only a one reference wave but here you need two reference wave and here you can see the output voltage will change from 0 volt to 40 volt if you have seen my bipolar uh, uh, pwm technique video you can uh, notice the difference in the bipolar PWM your output voltage switches between minus uh, DC link voltage to the positive of the DC link voltage but here in unipolar your output voltage switches from 0 to DC link voltage or from 0 to minus DC link voltage so that's why it is called unipolar uh, PWM technique now you can change this FM which is the frequency of your modulating wave that is sine wave to control the fundamental frequency of the output you can change this fc that is the frequency of the carrier wave to uh, control the switching frequency of the inverter higher the switching frequency more smooth will be your output current now, that is output current will have less ripples however your switching losses will increase you can change this ma that is the magnitude of the sine wave to control the magnitude of the fundamental of the output voltage so on the second plot i have the pwm signal for the leg a of the inverter that is m1 and m2 and you can see i have a dead time here between uh, m1 and m2 and uh, let me show you the FFT of the output voltage so V out let me go to the linear mode yeah so my switching frequency is 10 kilohertz 
but you can see my first harmonics occur at 20 kilohertz so advantage of this unipolar pwm over bipolar pwm is uh, you know it effectively doubles the switching frequency as far as output harmonics are concerned so your uh, lowest harmonic appears as sideband of twice the switching frequency so filtering is uh, relatively easier in unipolar PWM technique compared to bipolar PWM technique because you know the your harmonic has shifted to higher switching frequency so you need uh, a smaller uh, inductor to filter out the harmonics so this is uh, uh, one of the biggest advantage of unipolar PWM over bipolar PWM so that's it and uh, you can watch my bipolar PWM video to understand the difference between these two. You can copy this logic by uh, pausing the video. It's very simple to implement. This V out here is uh, the differential voltage between V out plus and V out minus node so that I can do the FFT. If I take the differential voltage here and plot it, then I I need to write expression to do FFT. However, if I use a behavior voltage source and write uh, this uh, uh, output voltage as a function of this differential output voltage, I get the same result and uh, I can do the FFT very easily. So that's all for now. I hope this is useful. Thank you and bye bye.